the hottest Korean dramas that dominated the ratings chart recently. Whether you're a fan of light romantic comedy, family or supernatural, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the captivating stories of King the Land. The real has come and see you in my 19th life. Number 1. King the Land the series has been winning the hearts of viewers ever since its premiere and has achieved remarkable success, making its way to the second spot on Netflix's number one list for non-English viewers. In this drama, we meet Kuon, played by Lee jun wo who hails from a wealthy Chaebol family that owns and operates the King Group. However, Kuon finds himself caught in a fierce battle for the inheritance of the King Group. Despite his intelligence, elegance, and stylish appearance, Kuan struggles with dating and often puts on a fake smile. On the other hand, Chun Sa Rang, portrayed by Lim Yoo Na, is a cheerful and optimistic individual. She starts working at the King Hotel, a place filled with cherished childhood memories. However, her journey at the hotel is fraught with numerous challenges and obstacles. King the Land has delivered on its promise of big budget entertainment. You may have a preconceived notion that one, our male lead, would start off as a typical entitled rich man who eventually melts for the leading lady. But surprise, surprise, you will see how one is actually a principled guy and you will find out why when you watch the drama. His clashes with Sarang mostly began because she accused him of something he didn't do. It's a refreshing twist and I hope they maintain his likable character. There is an abundance of tropes in this drama. There may be a childhood connection waiting to be unveiled at that hotel. And the drama is undeniably funny. Junwoo and Yuna seem to be on the verge of laughter at any moment, as if they're trying their best to stay in character. Their infectious joy makes it impossible for us not to smile along with them. Acting abilities and script strength aside, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy this easy, visually pleasing watch. Produced by JTBC, the show is past its halfway mark and it seems to have found its groove. On its sixth episode, drama viewership for King the Land in Korea is at 12%. During its second week, King the Land garnered a whopping 4 million individual views on Netflix alone. Isn't that impressive? It's evident that viewers are captivated by the storyline, performances, and the overall production quality of the show. Are the two leads dating? I've got some news to share with you today, and it might not be what you were hoping for, so brace yourself. It seems like the dating rumors surrounding Yuna from Girls' Generation and Lee jun from 2PM are unfortunately not true. According to a recent report, it was said that these two South Korean celebrities had started dating while working together on the set of King the Land. But guess what? Yuna's agency, SM Entertainment, quickly shut down the speculation. SM Entertainment stated that Yuna and Junwoo are simply close friends and that the dating rumors hold no truth. Junho's agency, JYP Entertainment, also chimed in and echoed the statement. They went as far as confirming that they checked with Junho himself, and the whole rumor is nothing more than groundless gossip. The real has come. With an impressive average nationwide rating of 18.2%, the real has come is on fire. There are unexpected twists in this drama. A young woman suddenly finds out that she is expecting a baby. Determined to raise her child as a single parent, she takes on the challenge. However, her life takes a surprising turn when she unexpectedly enters into a contract marriage with a highly skilled and accomplished OBGYN. And so, the story unfolds with a mix of hilarious and heartwarming moments as they navigate the complexities of living together co-parenting their child, pretending to be in love, dealing with their past relationships, and ultimately discovering true love. Wow, those first two episodes were packed with drama and unexpected revelations. The chemistry between Yeondo and Taekyung is starting to blossom. Despite their initial encounters, it's fascinating to see how their lives intertwine and how their choices will shape the future. The storyline keeps us on the edge of our seats, especially with Yeondu's pregnancy and Taekyung's complicated family situation. The characters are well developed and their conflicts add depth to the overall plot. The acting performances are outstanding and the production quality is impressive. The show successfully blends romance, family dynamics, and unexpected twists. 
As of July 9, The Real Has Come has maintained its position as the most watched Saturday drama. Ahn Jae Hyun is making a long awaited comeback to the small screen. Can I get a virtual high five? Ahn Jae Hyun, known for his incredible performances in shows like Love with Flaws, is back with a bang in KBS' latest series, The Real Has Come. It's been about three years since viewers last saw him in a rom com. In an interview, Ahn Jae Hyun shared of his character. Take Young might seem stiff, but he's soft on the inside. He might seem to be a flawless person, but he's actually a pitiable character because he has no one to rely on, so he came to hold back his emotions. Finally, the third drama is See You in My 19th Life. It ranked as one of the Netflix top TV shows. The drama has also been rated high by viewers on IMDb. So, See You in My 19th Life is performing even better internationally. This drama has everything — drama, romance, and a whole lot of Mac junk craziness aimed right at our poor male lead. Seriously, the writer really went all out with this one. Our male lead has a boatload of problems. Watch the drama to know. Two of them are hearing loss and PTSD. That's a lot to handle, right? But you know what? It works thanks to the incredible performance by An Bo Hyun. He's managed to strike a perfect balance between a hunky beefcake and a vulnerable chibol who just needs a big ol' hug. And here comes Jiom to the rescue, both literally and metaphorically. Played by the comedic genius Shin Hai-sun, Jiom is bound to bring plenty of laughter and serve as a ray of sunshine in everyone's lives. You see, even though the plot kind of portrays Jiom as a manic pixie dream girl, a character whose sole purpose is to show the male lead how amazing life can be, there's more to her story. She's on a quest for happiness in a world that has become dull after living for hundreds of years with memories of past lives. See You in My 19th Life is at 5.6% on its sixth episode. It has also ranked on my drama list a crazy high for users of this Asian drama-focused website. However, See You in My 19th Life has sparked a contentious debate among viewers with allegations of misrepresentation and distortion of historical narrative emerging. The focus of the debate revolves around a particular scene in the show where the main character, Ban ji portrayed by Shin Hai-sun, mentions discovering Arak during one of her past lives. This mention has raised concerns among viewers, leading to a demand for an apology due to perceived misrepresentation of historical facts. As of now, nobody has come forward with an official statement about the issue. Even Netflix hasn't replied to the viewer's request, which has disappointed fans from around the world.